Hey guys, Hacksor Tech here for another video, and today what we're going to be talking about is a way for you, or actually several ways that you can get your Android device screen displayed on your PC. Now this is the method that's going to be used for Android. Uh, I won't be covering iOS in this particular video, so this is primarily focused on Android, but I wanted to show a few different ways that you can do it, and I'm also going to show the way that I do it. Um, obviously the purpose of this is either if you want to display the phone on your screen because you want to record a video, um, such as the videos that I record, or if you want to demonstrate something, maybe in a screen share, um, or if you want to just control your phone from your computer for convenience, those are all reasons you might want to display the screen uh, of your phone on your PC screen. So there's a couple different options I'm going to show you here, and then I'm going to show you what I use. Um, the most popular ones that I see right now is Visor, is, is probably the most popular one I've seen recently. Um, if you do a Google search for VYSOR Visor, um, you'll find this. Uh, it is, I believe, free to start with. We can look at the pricing here. Um, there is a pro plan that you can pay for. Now, I do not use this, uh, but you can see here, this is kind of what it looks like. You'll just get this um, basically pop-up screen or pop-up window here on your device. In this case, it's a Mac, uh, but you can use it on Windows as well. I think there's also a Chrome extension for it. So it'll just display the context of your, uh, your mobile screen here on your device. And then from there, you can record your screen. Um, another option here is AirDroid. AirDroid gives you some other functions that I don't believe Visor offers. I think Visor is primarily really focused on just displaying your screen. Um, there may be a few other things that you can do. So you can use your keyboard to type in there and point and click, uh, but it's really meant for just controlling the device, whereas uh, AirDroid, you get a few other things. You can more powerfully kind of manage your SMS notifications, um, and you can file transfer files back and forth between your device and your PC, back and forth, remotely use the camera, and things like that. So this is actually a little bit more useful beyond just controlling the device uh, physically, being able to actually see the screen on your machine. Um, so some of these functions here aren't necessarily even um, showing you what it would look like on your mobile device. For example, if you wanted to send SMS, you get your own interface for doing that. Um, I don't know if it really displays it here, but you get sort of this window like what you can see here where you get um, a separate app to be able to look at your SMS and to control those other functions. So you can use it to just physically see what your phone looks like, but you can also control functions of uh, your phone without having to do that. Now this, just like uh, with Visor, uh, they have different plans. I believe there is a paid version, um, but the basic functionality is free. Uh, I don't actually see any mention of the paid version here. Uh, premium account here, you can see a comparison. All right, so here we go. So we've got the basic plan here, um, and it just kind of shows you off the limitations here. So you have a 200 megabyte cap, uh, and you can see here, uh, the number of devices is limited, uh, so there's some different kinds of limitations here with the free version, but if you want to just get your screen on your PC, you can definitely do that. Uh, and then the premium obviously is going to give you some additional features and unlock some capabilities. Finally, um, we have Mobizen here, um, and again, none of these are the ones that I'm going to be using or that I use, so I'm going to show you that one at the very end here. Um, but the final one that I have used and tried before is Mobizen. Um, and it's kind of similar to AirDroid. You can, again, display your physical phone screen on your PC. Uh, you can control other functions in there. Uh, between the two, I would say that definitely, um, feature-wise, AirDroid probably has a bit more kind of feature-rich uh, capabilities. And then if we look at the plan pricing here, you can see one month is three uh, a month, which is pretty in line with AirDroid. Um, you can also get that reduced to $2 a month if you do the 12-month package. Um, between the two here, again, I would probably go with AirDroid if I was looking at these three because it just gives you more features. But if I purely want to just access my Android device easily um, on my PC, I actually use a completely different tool, and I don't know why this actually isn't more popular. It's TeamViewer. 
uh, which team viewer as you might know it does give you the ability to um, remotely control a laptop or a desktop machine so you can use it to control PCs and that's what it's most well known for um, but you can also use it as you can see is displayed here you can use it to control your mobile device and so that's what I'm going to be covering here is the way that you can use Team Viewer to control your mobile device. This is my favorite solution. This is what I use to record all of my videos. And so what I'm going to just really quickly do is demonstrate how you use Team Viewer to control your device and what it actually looks like. Since this is the only tool that I use and it's the one that I recommend, I'm just going to show you kind of how this functions. So you can see here that I have my uh, Team Viewer account set up here. I'm going to go ahead and So you can see that I have my Team Viewer account set up here and I'm logged in. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and access my device. Um, and all you have to actually do to access your device is you simply go in here, type in the partner ID, which you're gonna get in the app that I'm gonna show you that you have to download uh, onto your mobile device. And there is a separate app from the app that you use to control a separate laptop or desktop device. So I'm gonna go ahead and just initiate the connection here. Uh, once I do that, you'll see a screen pop up on your mobile device, which you're not seeing right now, um, that's going to ask you to allow it. And then it'll prompt you once again to start capturing everything and click on start now. So you're basically just following all of the prompts that appear on your screen. And then boom, you can see that I have uh, my phone screen now displayed and I'm able to access everything here. So I can either use my finger to swipe around here or separately I can also just click using my PC I can actually control everything in my PC and so what I'm gonna do here is just type in team viewer I'm gonna show you what you actually need to download here I'm gonna find it there's a number of different add-ons which are specific to certain phones uh, and things of that nature but I believe it's called quick view so let me just ah quick support going to pull up what we need here for team viewer the team viewer quick support this is the separate app like I said there is a separate application you can use where you can just download it and you can sign into your account to remotely access a laptop or a PC uh, but the team viewer quick support app if we scroll down here um, you can see is actually what you use to control your mobile device here and I'm able to use my keyboard and my mouse again to control all of this um, you can transfer files with this uh, this application as well. So if I want to transfer something, I can do that all in the context of what you're seeing here. Um, you can see that I have some other functions here. I can do um, request a screenshot. Um, I can type in messages here. And so this is actually great um, just for a couple of reasons. So if I wanted to, um, you know, obviously control my machine here and I wanted to just display it for the purpose of a tutorial or whatever that might be. I mean, that's all good and well, um, but there's a number of other things I can use this for as well. You can use it to remotely support someone and help someone, um, you know, maybe find something. Um, you can literally use it for troubleshooting or technical support kind of reasons. Um, some other things that I can do here, I can um, literally look at all of the information of my device here. So you can see if I wanted to uh, look at my CPU usage, my RAM usage, my battery level, that's all displayed here. Um, and some other stats is displayed here as well. So there's a lot of powerful, useful things here. Uh, I can also click on this icon here and I can expand my view here. Let me just go ahead and back out of this real quick. All right, so you can see that I can change my view. I can control my speed here. Again, I can um, start recording here as well, which is really nice so I can record video. I can take a screenshot from my mobile device. Um, so all kinds of different features here that are built in. And then if I maximize it here, you can see that I get a blown up view of my window here, my screen. Just move this out of the way. And now this is just sort of blown up so it's uh, it's scaled so that it looks a little bit nicer to present if I'm trying to record a video here. Um, so overall, again, this is the tool that I use to capture all of my tutorials on my mobile device. Um, it is completely free for personal use. The only time you'd have to pay for it is if you were using it for, uh, for business usage here. Um, or, you know, obviously if you're recording videos for a business or something like that, then you would want to pay for the 
um, the paid plan there. But if you're using it for personal use, there is no cost. And uh, it was just for me the easiest thing to set up. When I tried to use some of the other applications, I had um, some inconsistent experiences. Sometimes uh, it wouldn't display my screen at all. Um, sometimes it would lag or it would crash on me. Um, I'd have to restart the program. So this is the only one that has reliably worked, at least in the context of being able to display um, all of the content on my screen here reliably. And so I'm, I'm definitely a fan of this. This is what I recommend that you use. And for some reason, again, I haven't seen a lot of people talk about this particular application to be able to display um, your mobile device on your PC screen. So I recommend that you check it out. Um, the link will be in the description, but you can just do a search for TeamViewer. Um, download the PC app. You just use the same PC app that you use for controlling another machine um, to be able to connect to your phone. And then you can, um, again, you would need to download that TeamViewer Quick Support app from the Play Store, which I'll also link. Um, that'll allow you to easily access the device. Um, just really quick, I will pull up that Quick Support app so you can see what it looks like in the app itself, um, just briefly here. So this is what the actual application looks like, and it doesn't really give you too much. This is mostly just a chat mechanism. Um, so if I wanted to, for example, communicate with someone that was accessing my device, if I was trying to get support here, I could talk to them um, from the mobile app, and then they can likewise send a message from the desktop app uh, to be able to kind of communicate if they want to just walk you through steps. And even if you want to just walk someone through without actually controlling the device, you can do that as well, so they can just see what you're doing. Uh, but then ultimately you just click on or tap on that X in the top right hand corner when you're done, closes out the connection, and then you're good to go. So that's the app that I uh, recommend. Again, all the information will be uh, available here uh, in the description, so check that out. And that's it. That's all I wanted to show you guys here for the app that I use to uh, remotely access my machine and to record my videos. Before I go, just very quickly, I did want to share a couple pieces of information with you. I don't have a sponsor for my videos, um, so just keep that in mind here, but I do have some applications and some, uh, some tools and services that I recommend that will grant me a small commission and will get you different kinds of benefits as well. Um, so there's a number of ones in the description that you'll find. If you look in there, you'll see that there's some different ways that you can support the channel if you uh, enjoyed this video here. But specifically what I wanted to just share with you uh, today is Weeble. And this is an application that you can download on your mobile device uh, to be able to invest in stocks, to buy and sell stocks. Um, but there is a promotion going on right now. If you use the link in the description, you will get um, one free stock and possibly a second one if you're willing to deposit at least um, you know, a few cents or a dollar in there. There's no specific minimum. Um, but just for signing up, you do get some free stock. So check that out. That link is in the description. Um, but otherwise, again, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, and check the description for other ways to support the channel and to donate if you so choose. Thanks again for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.